What's poppin' to MB Gang? You already know who it is. It's your girl May Beauty back with another video. And in today's video, it's gonna be a makeup tutorial. I really don't know what look I'm about to give y'all, so we're about to just figure it out. And if you all see me looking over to the side a lot, it's because my mirror is right here. Hey girl, hey, I'll be using her to, you know, complete this makeup look for you all today. Now let's get into these eyebrows. So my eyebrows were done off camera. So right now I'm just using my LA Girl Pro Concealer to can seal my eyebrows and clean them up. Over the top of my eyebrows, I'll be using a shade that matches my complexion to a T, maybe be one shade off a little bit. And then under my eyebrows, I'll be using a shade that's like two shades lighter than me to get that nice fresh waxed look that i want and before i finish explaining anything else to you all if you are new to my channel don't forget to like comment subscribe share comment down in the comment section below saying hey girl hey new to the tribe so i know that you're a new subby and we can you know have our little conversations and if you are returning what's up tribe what's up beauties what's up beast how y'all doing i hope y'all had y'all a blessed weekend now let's get back into this video all right y'all so now it's time to prime the face i'm going in with my black radiance botanical oil and then over top of that i'll be using my fancy beauty primer i believe it's the matte primer everything will be down in the description box below of what products i use yes i've been remembering to leave them in the description box below lately so you guys can't come at me for that and after that i'm just gonna let it dry well not let it dry i'm gonna spray my setting spray because i always use that in between every step that i do when it comes to my face so i'm gonna spray setting spray let that sit and we're gonna go back to the eyes and i'll come back when we're on the eyes all right so i actually let the concealer on my eyes sit and dry for a little bit so that once i blend it out it wasn't all over the place and it's easier to blend i believe i explained that outright i explained it to how i understand it if you understand it, you understand it but yeah so now that i'm about to blend out the concealer and everything i'm going to go in with a shade in my juvia's place palette it's a light brown i don't remember what the color is called i'll put that down in the description box below as well but i'm about to go with that and set my concealer before i start adding color on top all right so i'm going in my second juvia's place palette and i'm using that pink shade and instead of me just getting the pink on the brush and then swooping it across my eye i'm doing the pat method to make sure that the color and all the pigments shows up more on my skin especially since i'm not using a lighter base as concealer i'm just using my regular naked eye so that's all i'm doing so if you want your colors to come out the way that my colors come out or anything like that it's best to use the pet method and build the color and pigments on your eye instead of just blending it out all together and dramatically because you won't get the same effect that you want unless you do this method so try it let me know how it goes for you and we'll see Thank you. 
So now I'm adding some concealer to my lid to give me a new fresh base and foundation. I'll be going into my Juvia's Place palette with this reddish pink shade. And this is my third palette. I'll be going into this one with this reddish pink shade and adding that to my lid. And packing that on because I just felt like it would give it this different kind of ombre effect. This different kind of tone. But then you guys will see me side eyeing the camera and my mirror because something was off something was just off like i didn't know what kind of makeup look i was going to do like i told y'all before so i was just trusting the process and testing everything out but as you will see here coming up i wasn't really feeling it i wasn't feeling the red so that I ended up going into my other Juvia's Place palette back into that peak shade and reapplying that pink over top of that red and when i did that it kind of did something for me so we're just gonna keep going and trusting this process as we go. So now that it's done and I'm satisfied with how my lids are looking, I'm going back into my third palette with this rose gold shade, shimmer shade, and I'm putting that under my eyebrows and in my crease and just dragging it out. I can't really explain how I did it. I can show y'all how I did it. See, look. Like that. But then, again, as I'm trusting the process, I didn't like how the rose gold came out or was looking, so I finessed it. And then I ended up adding some gold and whatever other color from my other Juvia's palette on top to make it look better and make me happy. And, yeah, it's, it's the trust the process. When you don't know what you're doing, you'll figure it out as you go. Now I'm going in with some purple eyeliner from Wet n Wild, and I'm, you know... About to finesse this wing, looking real cute and everything. And then I'm going to apply lashes and that's self-explanatory. And I'll be quiet for now until it's time for me to talk again. So, until we meet again, boy. all right i'm back already because i didn't let y'all know i went into my dubious place palette and i used this purple shade to set the liquid eyeliner so it can pop out more and i don't even think i showed y'all the color but yeah just wanted to let y'all know that okay bye So if you didn't see my previous video where I did my PR boxing, PR boxing, my PR unboxing with BWB Boutique, these are the lashes from Lashes by Nana that you can purchase at BWBBoutique.com. These are her splash color lashes and I have them in the color pink. So if you would like to purchase you some, go ahead and get you some. Use my code XO May Beauty to get 15% off your order. I'm going to have that fly across the screen maybe. But yeah, just wanted to let y'all know, get you some lashes, use my discount, and yeah, baby. So this probably be the only time that I put sound on in the video. But y'all want to know something funny? Like, y'all know how in the beginning of the video I said, I don't know what look I'm doing today. We're just going to wing it because of these, you know, lashes and everything. 
why I end up recreating a look that I've already done before, I just never, you know, made a tutorial or anything for it. So, here y'all go. Boom, recreated look. Just vamped up a little bit now. Let's get back into finish this tutorial because it's time to beat this face. You feel me? Let's beat this face. And don't talk about how it ain't no batteries in my mirror. Mind your business. Now I'm back with all the products that's going to be on this beautiful face of mine. I'm going in with my Milani Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Medium to Dark. And I'm applying that all over my face because I'm going for a very subtle um, face beat. Because my eyes are very dramatic and bow. So yeah, I just want to let you all know that and I'll be back. But also, I didn't show this step as many times as I should have. But I do apply setting spray. In between each take when it comes to my face and each step that I do with my foundation process so if you guys would like an updated foundation routine comment down in the comment section below and I got that for you I'll make you guys a whole nother video and yeah or if you guys would like me see the little the, 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 the wouldn't be a made beauty video if I didn't get tongue-tied and I say that every time if you all would like to see me do a more in-depth foundation routine without this tint and moisturizer I got video for y'all as well just let me know let's get back to this video now it's time to highlight and conceal i'm using the same two shades that i use for my eyebrows but i will be blending that together this will give you a more natural fresh face look and that's it. I won't be contouring this video, so don't even ask or look forward to it. So after I apply the concealer to the needed areas, I will lay back and chill for a little bit, a couple minutes, to let it dry and get a little bit tacky so that once I start blending it out, it's not everywhere. It's just where I need it to be applied. So I'm about to go and come back. Watch this. Told told y'all setting spray applied in between every step i applied the setting spray right before i started blending everything out i applied it to my face and to my brush and then after this step i will use my setting powder to set everything on my face because that's it that's the makeup look and i'll be going in with my blush i think it's from maybelline i don't remember what shade it is it's in but it's in like this pink rose beautiful shade i love it my new fave so yeah, also, if you guys want a video on my makeup face, comment down that in the description box below. You guys can always DM me what other kind of videos you would like to see from me and anything like that. And I got you. But yeah, let's run these comments up. It would help YouTube recommend my videos to other folks. It would help us grow. The tribe's going to grow and all that. Don't just like, comment. Don't DM me. Comment. All that. Much love. I'll be back if I need to say something else. But everything else that I should be doing now should be very self-explanatory. So I'll probably be back for the outro. All right. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'm done talking to you for right now. Just right now. so let me let y'all know this now because i know somebody's going to ask i'm going back under my eye with this brush i don't know but i think it's my cousin's brush that i never gave back to her my fault but i'm going back into that pink that i had and i'm just pushing that down my eye on my waterline and giving that little fresh smoky type look so it's like a pink smoky i don't know what's to call this look it's just it's a look think pink bow that's the look time to highlight baby and let me tell you something i'm using fenty beauty highlight 
yes but i'm about to use my favorite brand of all time the first brand i've ever used when it came to makeup and i was still used until the day i die which is black radiance i'm going in with this purple shade first class yes baby and i'm putting that on my nose and my cheekbones and stuff like that black radiance will always be a hit for me they don't never miss they know what they doing and they on point all the time black radiance is my go-to they need to sponsor me just saying i'm going back setting my face and we're good so for the lips now i'm going to explain the lips two of these lip colors i got these from the beauty supply store no i didn't i'm lying i got these from the dollar store i should do a video with um straight makeup products from the family dollar that would be hilarious and i might do that comment down below if you guys be interested in that video but yeah i'm using my lipstick brush and my purple lipstick first and i'm using that to line my lips the outer line give it some definition and then i'm going to go back in with that hot pink shade that i have and i'm going to line my lips with that as well to give it some extra oomph and then after that i'm going in with my fenty beauty lip gloss and applying that on top and that's it for the makeup look i hope you guys love this video and enjoy this makeup look this makeup tutorial is long overdue the fact that i end up doing a makeup look that i've done before that plenty of you has asked me to do a tutorial for well here it is a whole year later yeah i know right but yeah continue to watch this video all the way till the end like comment and subscribe and turn on your post notifications duh so before we end this video i have a challenge for y'all let's see if we can hit a thousand subscribers by my birthday this year august 16th 2022 that'll be the biggest birthday present ever but anyways if you got to this end don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications let your girl know what's up thanks try for being here and sticking with me i didn't do my whole beauty slow-mo but i got y'all next time bye <laughs> Just a wake up, you know? Our D.